it's me again cross or justin whichever one you like anyway last night i went to this church and um it wasn't bad um actually after this video, I'm going to do another video about what to look for in a church because there's so many negative things as far as what churches you want to stay from, stay away from, that we don't really talk about churches that you want to go to or what to look for within a good church. I think I'll do that video. But right now, I want to talk about our responsibility to the next generation as far as... Uh, well, here's the thing. Last night I went to church, and uh, I taped it, actually. Let me show the clip right now. So here I am at the church with my new friends. They're, uh, they are enjoying my phone. Because uh, it is... Oh, that's my buddy, Edgar. Plain Angry Birds. So uh, you can see we're having a pretty interesting time at our church right now. Those kids are so cute. Uh, that the other guy there, but that was my buddy Edgar. Uh, he and I both went to the church last night, and um, meh, it was okay. Um, it was a good story and everything with what the pastor dude had to say. But the thing is, is it was so cute how those kids just were so they're just so trusting and um, pure um, as far as they just really don't understand the world yet. But they saw me with my phone. And they're like, "Ooh, do you have games on that phone?" And I said, "Well, I really don't. But what's your guys? What what, do you, what games do you guys like to play, man? We can download them." Those kids just jump over their chairs, surround me and my buddy Edgar. Actually, Edgar went to the restroom when he came back. Also, they're surrounded by kids. It was pretty funny, but um, it's so cute because there's two kids on my left playing the game, and then one kid on my, or two kids on my right playing the game. One kid on my left. And he's got his arms up on my shoulder, just resting, resting his his um, um, arms on me, you know, on my shoulder with his head tilting, looking past me, looking at the game, looks at me, can see a smile, looks back at the game, and I just see this like, these kids are just adorable. But it's interesting because what it does to your mentality. Um, when I get around kids like that, my whole mood changes. I feel. Uh, I understand the responsibility that I have for these kids, for my, um, uh, it could be nephews, niece, my little cousins, um, <clears throat> um, and maybe just friends that you have who have kids that for some reason look up to you. And, uh, you know, when you see this and you understand how they view you and how they will copy things, they look up to you, uh, you know, it's something that you need to take very seriously. Um, <clears throat> I see a lot of guys out there, and and they just don't they they just don't care. They couldn't care less. I mean, they think it's great that these kids want to be like them and look up to them, but they'll still cuss around these kids, you know. And uh, uh, besides profanity, just the things that they do and smoke in front of the kids and um, uh, drinking. And it's just so sad, but I'm not going to get into the negative things. Let's talk about what we want to do. I mean, these kids looking up to us, I mean, it really motivates you to um, fulfill your obligation. It gives you the strength to fulfill your obligations. Not just as, um, because most people who watch that I talk to you know, is Christian, but not just as, as a Christian, but just as a human being and uh, any part of spirituality because anything that we do in the physical realm is going to affect these kids in the spirit or in the physical realm is going to affect these kids in the spiritual realm and um, <clears throat> it's just so important for us to keep our moral standards and not just have the moral standards and talk about moral standards but the thing is to um, actually go by them uh, like I told, said in a video before put them into action because kids don't go by what we say they go by what we do you want to, you, and we know this because we've done this before in the past, you know, as far as if you're going to be the type of leader for the kids that say, do as I say, not as I do, you're telling the kid not to respect you and just to do whatever he wants and that rules don't matter. Thing is, is kids follow what they see. Kids follow what they know and what they know is what people do around them. And what they'll do and what they'll repeat are what the people they respect and look up to, they're going to do what they do, you know? <clears throat> But like I said, um, being around kids is almost like, uh, it's, it's a very refreshing, very healthy, for me it is. Um, I'd love to be a father someday, unfortunately I don't think it's going to happen. 
But uh, the thing is, is that would be awesome, huh? Anyway, the, unless you're a woman, then being a father would be weird. Um, but uh, the thing is, is uh, there's this is gonna sound cheesy, it's gonna sound sound corny, <clears throat> but God is with the kids. God is with these children. Um, the anointing I could feel around the kids yesterday, and and the the purity that they have just keeps them so open to 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 God that um, um, you know if you want to experience God, sometimes you need to be around a younger generation that's still pure and away from the sin, and hear what they have to say. And um, I've seen kids pray and and felt the presence of the Lord enter the room immediately. And uh, I've seen. Uh, people request for a bunch of children to pay, pray for someone and for that person to be healed in that room instantly because those children are praying for them because of, God hears their prayers. And um, it, you got to remember that these kids, um, uh, it's not just that, that kids are sin free um, because they do things that they made that all is wrong, but their innocence keeps them really sin free. But the thing is, kids also naturally want to help and do good. They naturally go by God's word and naturally put it into action. Oh, so precious. I love kids. I love them. They're so sweet and cute. But the thing is, is that obedience towards doing what's right and for them to have good hearts and for them to be so pure without so much sin is where the faith comes in and where their prayers are powerful. And, um... <laughs> They're praying according to God's will for, for when they pray for healing and such. So, you know, the thing is, is <clears throat> these kids, if they lose that, it's more on us than it is on them. Because, like I said, like kids don't naturally, when they grow up, they become corrupt. But why do the people become corrupt? They become corrupt because they become a product of their surroundings. So, the thing is, is let's be the type of people that instead of becoming a product of our surroundings, our surroundings, the atmosphere around the su our surroundings change because <clears throat> of us. We want to be atmosphere controllers. We control an atmosphere. When we step into a place, we control the atmosphere there. You can step into a room that's completely uncomfortable, something may have just happened, and you step in and all of a sudden things go at ease, because you step in and a presence comes with you. And uh, this all comes from, from just the obedience, you know, I mean, uh, it's not, I'll, I'll do another video about this, but right now it's about the kids. Pray for the, the young generation, please. Pray that they stay pure, pray that the, the, that the Lord stays strong with them, and also that... Um, uh, and pray about everything for them, really. But, uh, and respect them. That's one thing I see. People don't respect little kids around five or six years old. They don't because they say, huh, they're just kids. You know what? Kids are connected to God way more than we are because we, we've become older. We've become more poisoned in our souls and spirits with sin. And um, the thing is, is even though we're forgiven for this sin, a lot of us, we still remember it. And that's what keeps us, that's what puts our blocks between us and God, our walls. So, uh, children aren't, aren't like that. So, uh, uh, stay on their good side, because they'll pray for you. <laughs> but, uh, that's pretty much it. That's it. We, we have a moral obligation to fulfill for the younger generation. So let's teach the kids the, the ways of wisdom, righteousness, purity, um, spirituality is extremely important, um, and wisdom. I mean, uh, I don't want to sound blasphemous, but they should all be Christian Dalai Lamas, <laughs> really. Um, I sounded wrong. Something about that was just wrong. I think I offended everyone from every religion, from the Dalai Lama, or the Buddhist, to the witchcraft, to the Christians. I didn't mean it to be that way. When I, when I say Dalai Lama, I mean peaceful and an understanding of peace. And when I say Christian, I just say Christian because I have a Christian, which I... Yeah, that's it. But, uh... Uh... They need guidance, because a lot of these kids don't have good parents, either. And that's another thing to keep in mind. So let's be the light for these children 
the leaders um, for not just the children but everyone around us but mainly the children and uh, you know the generation before me already screwed this place up so much and my generation's already screwing it up so much with drugs and and uh, uh, if it feels good do it type mentality that uh, the very few of us out there that are actually willing to do goodness uh, it's just it's that much more important to go that extra mile it really is because uh, kids are very precious kids are very pure and they just need to keep that I'm pretty much repeating myself now saying nothing yeah end of video thank you all for watching uh, you all be blessed and uh, hopefully my videos aren't losing your attention since I'm not talking about the different demons and how to kill demons and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with my ratings now that I'm making videos again. But either way, if you're watching this, I pray for uh, blessings for you, peace for you. I pray that God guides you through your day. I pray that the Holy Spirit comes um, and is uh, going to be a presence that's going to give you a hunger for the Lord and um, uh, for knowledge in order to back up your faith, to increase your faith. Yes. That was an interesting prayer. Hmm. Someone out there needed that, I guess. I, it's, I've never heard of a prayer like that. But the Lord told me to say that, so that's what I did. Y'all be blessed. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye now. And uh, God bless the next younger generation. I love you guys to death. You kids are great. I love the kids. I love the kids.